and welcome back to Let's Solve Murder by Numbers. I'm your host, Heike, and this is case three. It's the shoe fits. We haven't even started yet, so let's start. After the Star Shine Awards, things changed. I've been through plenty of change already that summer, but this was different. This was big. But I guess change is hardest to recognize when it's happening to you. It felt like an eternity ago that I left Ryan and s struck out on my own. He told me back then that I'd end up living with a robot. Well, let's just say that was never the plan. I didn't know why that stranger, that scout, was dangerous. But the more time I spent with him, the less I believed it. So we just carried on, like, like everything was normal. We watched films, we visited museums, and Scout devoured the public library five books at a time. Only five? <laughs> For a while, it felt like progress, but deep down, I knew I was running away. Running from Scout's past. And from my future. But I couldn't run forever. Oh, good morning, Honor. Come on, get, get up to get up to much last night. I read the final three volumes of the Encyclopedia Totalis. I think my favorite was Zirconia. They're so pretty. <laughs> Zirconia. They're so pretty. <laughs> now we just need to think of a way to get those encyclopedias back to the library before they realize we took them. Also, I read that Julia Child's book that you never opened. <laughs> you never opened. Hey, I was gonna get around to it at some point. Anyway, I spent the night trying to perfect the French omelet. Here, I made one for you. What, a freaking robot can cook now? <laughs> I can get used to five star meals. <laughs> oh, hey, Casey. How did your day with the perfume guy go last night? It was the third one, right? Did you. Wait, is that why you're calling me at this ungodly hour? Because you're doing the walk of shame? You hussy, tell me everything. Oh my god. Okay, calm down, calm down. Where did you say you are? Got it. We'll be there as soon as we can. What's up, Honor? It's Casey. Is he okay? He's fine. But it looks like he just found himself at a murder scene. Oh, wow, the, the murder came by really fast this time. We didn't have to wait an hour to, to find out who gets murdered. Aha. Uh -huh. I like the pride flags. Whoa, that's not what I was expecting. Honor, are my sensors malfunctioning again, or is that a giant shoe? <laughs> no, your sensors are working fine. Not just a giant shoe, either. It's a giant killer shoe. <laughs> Darling, you're here! What a mess all this is! What the heel happened here? <laughs> Scout, babe, if you're going to stop making quips, we need to have a talk about timing. I'm... I'm sorry. I will brush my teeth later. <laughs> you do. Of course you do. Come on, Scout. Let's get scanning. Man, is he literally the only detective in Hollywood? <laughs> He's literally everywhere. Do you ever get a break, dude? <laughs> okay, see. Stop. Babe, isn't it just awful? What happened here? Your guess is as good as mine. I was in the area decided to swing by. Your friend mentioned to me that she had the place done up, so I thought I'd take a look at the outside at least. But when I got here, well, this is what I found. Who's your friend? I have a feeling that's a name you've mentioned before. A friend Tazia. She owns this place. She's also my drag mother of sorts. 
I could not find any records in my database for drag mother. Oh, right. Uh, how to explain? When I first came to the States, I didn't know anyone. I landed at LEX with a makeup palette under one arm and a head full of dreams. And reality hit, and it hit hard. I met Fran in a club one night and she took me under her wing. That's when I learned that drag queens will do anything for help with their makeup. Even adopt a lost British gay boy. <laughs> I see, so she is like a mother figure to you, but not a blood relation. I thought you had to do drag to be in a drag family. I know, I know, but, and it does seem a waste not to use these cheekbones for profit, doesn't it? I don't know, I, I think doing makeup on other people is my calling. And a drag family is full of people who need makeup on them pretty much every day. So it worked out. They were my support network back when I couldn't get a job to save my life. Fran and her sisters put me up, kept me fed, spread the word. Everything I have is thanks to the kindness of queens. Since things blew up with murder mystery and the other regular books though, I've not seen as much of them as I used to, or should do. Where's Fran right now? I called her just before I spoke to you. She's not turned up yet, though. It always takes her at least an hour and a half to get ready. Though, so she is probably mid-beat as we speak. But her clothes just been smashed into. Surely she wouldn't spend that long on. Ed likes to draw a line between club life and the rest of his life. Drag only when on the premises. Oh right, Ed is Fran's boy name. Ed is Fran's boy name. Edwin Tinker. Tinker by name, Tinker by nature. He means metal instruments. He is a man of many talents. Not Tinker is British slang for you know what. It doesn't matter. <laughs> what is this place? My cousin's kind of a weird name for a gay bar, isn't it? Well, it's not strictly a gay bar. How did Fran describe it? Something like Megalens is a port of the storm for those exploring the stormy seas of gender. That's the uh, family-friendly reason behind the name, anyway. Are you a regular? I mean, knowing the owner's got to be good for some free drinks, right? Fran hasn't owned it for that long. The bar has been here for years. But she only took it over recently. I came here for the big party she threw to celebrate her new venture, but I haven't been back since. <laughs> no evidence there. Eh? Alright, let's uh, talk to Cross, Brad. <laughs> Should have known he'd call you. Nice to see you too. If I told you to, to stop sticking your nose in and go home, what are the chances you'd actually do it? I estimate the chance is approximately 0.000001%. That does, however, factor in a small margin of error. Would that margin of error happen to be 0.000001%? Bingo! <laughs> I can't even manage to be mad at you two anymore. Fine, I suppose you did a great, pretty good job last time. And the crime scene team... I've just finished up anyway. You could help out. But causing you trouble, and so help me God. What happened here? Looks like a fairly standard hit and run. Well, it looks like they left the vehicle behind. So I guess it was a literal run. Also, the vehicle is a giant delay. So, I'm balanced pretty far from your standard hit and run. This is your first death by stiletto? You don't want me to answer that question. Trust me. <laughs> okay. Do you know anything about this club? I would have thought that was more of a question for your friend over there. I do not understand what do you mean by that. He means that it's a gay club. And he, being an old straight man, wouldn't know anything about that. Less of the old, thanks, but you're not wrong. This isn't something I know much about. We... we can help out. You're letting us take a look at the crime scene? Forensics have already been and gone, and I've already inspected the scene. There's nothing for you to mess up. 
At this early stage in the investigation, it's important to consider every, every piece of evidence of your hypothesis. So sure, knock yourselves out. Come back here and show me everything you find. We'll see what your conclusions are. What do we know about the victim? He had some idea on it. I'm surprised Robo Boy over there hasn't found it yet. We haven't checked. Any, do we have any suspects at this point? Well, the only person with any connection to the incident so far is that friend of yours. Casey, you don't think he did it, do you? I think to keep an open mind at the stage of the investigation. It's just you the same. But he called it in. He did. Then he called you. Are you trying to imply something, Detective Cross? Well, the time for implications later. Right now, it's about finding out as much as we possibly can, no matter how innocuous it may turn out to be. All right, all right, all right. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's get some pick cross. I've been. I to do some pick rocks all day, I don't know why. Maybe reviewing my footage from yesterday's session got me thinking, man, pick rocks is so fun, I wish I can do it right now, but I usually have to wait till night so everyone can fall asleep. game and I'm like wow I'm surprised I only managed to find one person playing it they did like five hours of streamings I guess and posted it on, on uh, YouTube Dodger I believe and I'm like wow I'm surprised to see that name again <laughs> I did follow her for a, a bit like a year ago or so and then she just kind of vanished from my sub box I don't even know if I subbed to her but I remember watching a lot of her a lot of content from her so I was like, oh, I know this person, and they scream things, so that's cool, I guess.
a sneaker left. Are we gonna find the sneaker, right? <laughs> the right sneaker. A sneaker. Whoever was driving the float must have left it behind when they fled the screen. The scene. Why would they leave a sneaker in a friggin' stiletto? <laughs> okay. It would appear to be designed for a left foot. <laughs> Hypothesis: the killer only has one leg. <laughs> um, I mean, you might be right. Or it might just be one half of a pair. <laughs> the plot thickens. You might be right. <laughs> Left and right. <laughs> yeah, funny. I'm loving it. Oh, yay. I love it when it goes from easy to friggin' hard. <laughs> yay. Luckily, my eyes can adjust to this. I'm not tired just yet. I'm <laughs> ready then. It's a five, not a six. <laughs> and now it's a six. <laughs> I was gonna do it anyway.
not tired. Or wheel. I'm getting tired of this. <laughs> There's something interesting about this tire. <laughs> the tread appears to be undamaged, which indicates that the vehicle didn't break before it hit the club or the victim. Now that you mention it, there aren't any skid marks, are there? So they didn't try to slow down or swerve. I don't think this was an accident. Yeah. Huh. How... Elaborate for a murder. Poor dude. Poor Sure.
That must be the victim's passport. 